We have been proposing uh, and supporting the idea of uh, better education for the people. For instance, uh, at the school level, uh, we need to educate Malaysians uh, to understand their own religion and also to understand the other religion. So uh, I am in favor of uh, scrapping the moral education and replacing it with real uh, religious education. Let the Hindus and Buddhists and Christians learn about their religion just like the Muslims are learning about Islam in school. Because uh, there is no real meaning, uh, there's no real value in learning what is so abstract like moral education. Uh, and then, um, but education is not just about that. Education is also about uh, interaction between all the ethnic groups in school. So we really have to re review the current policy about uh, vernacular schools. But mind you, it's not just about vernacular schools. It's also about private school. It's also about Islamic schools, which are also mushrooming in the country. So we have to have a... Uh, we have to review it. And even if you choose to close down certain schools, there are still people in rural areas who will go to all Malay schools anyway mm -hmm. and will not have Chinese, Indian, and people of other ethnic as their friends anyway. So you still have to, you still have to address those issues right. because uh, don't tell me they will only know Malays uh, as their friends and as their neighbours. So... So interaction is not just about closing schools. It's also about uh, uh, really making sure, for instance, that sports become the real meeting place mm -hmm. of friendship yeah. and not just a meeting place to fight for gold medal. If you were to take into consideration Sabah and Sarawak, uh, it is even uh, uh, more important that you ensure uh, Sabahan, Sarawakian and Semenanjung people know each other, interact well with each other. So it's quite a complex uh, issue. But beyond that, we also have to uh, critically examine uh, existing laws and policies. There may be laws and policies that not only they are unconstitutional, but also they may uh, in certain ways or the other uh, heighten the polarization uh, between different ethnic groups. Uh, small things like having to uh, enter your ethnic or race in uh, government forms mm -hmm. can be sensitive to some. And I'm not saying go away with all the boxes. Sometimes you need it for statistical purposes. But there are also cases where you don't really need it, but the form is still there. Uh, with those boxes. So we really have to review uh, when do people need to identify yourself you know, as a Malay or Chinese, when you don't really have to identify yourself because there's no real reason to identify yourself, for instance. Like if you are entering into a sports competition, do you need to know whether I'm, I'm Malay or Chinese? I play basketball, so all you need to know is whether I'm a male or female because you don't want me to play in a different, in different gender <laughs> competition. But so long as you know my name is Saifuddin and I play for... Team A, why do you need to know whether I'm a Malay or Chinese or Indian? Because it's sports, you know?